Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create a lead form in Google Ads. We want to capture leads, we want to send them straight to our sales team. How can we do this the same way that we do it on Meta Ads, TikTok Ads and all the other platforms? It's super easy. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. Step number one, obviously we're going to log into our Google Ads. We need to make sure we are under campaigns on the left hand side and we go and we click on assets. Once we come here, we are going to find the option that is called lead form right here. We're going to click on it and we're going to click the plus symbol. Now you can attach a lead form to the entire account which means that it can be inherited by all your campaigns or you can attach a lead form to different campaigns and that's very useful because maybe you have multiple products or services and you want different campaigns to have slightly different lead forms so that's up to you to decide now you can basically come here and we can create a new form first of all what we need to do is to customize our lead form so we have a headline so let's say this is my new form. So the headline should be obviously relevant to what the form is about. Then you are going to insert the business name. So who created this form? What is the business behind the scenes? And then you can give a little bit of a, a description of what this form is about, right? So sign up for my amazing, let's say service, whatever this is. So you have up to 200 characters here to give a little bit of a description of what this form is about. Now you can select the questions that you want to include. Obviously, I will recommend you to include name, probably phone number and email. These data are kind of pre-filled based on what Google knows about the user. So it's very easy for the customer actually to, to fill them in. They don't need to fill them in. They just, uh, they're going to be pre-filled by the system. And from there, you can either add your own questions or you can add additional questions like company name, job title, and so forth. How can you add your own questions? You're going to scroll a little bit down. Here you see this plus symbol that says question. You're going to click the plus symbol and you can potentially, let's say, find here a question that is pre-existing. So let's say I want to ask them, uh, for example, what is the preferred time to call? I'm going to search for time. What is the preferred time to call? And then I can even make it like a multiple choice. I can give the answers here. So let's say morning, evening, and so forth. So you can add essentially your own custom questions. There, there is a very large depository of questions you can choose from. Very important, you need to insert your privacy policy URL here. So what this means is your website slash privacy policy URL, you're going to insert it here. And if you want, is not mandatory, you can add a background image that is going to show on the top of your lead form to make it maybe more branded, more beautiful and better user experience. Once you're done with the form, then you're going to customize the submission message. So let's say I created the form, the user came, completed the form. What do you want to say? You can say, for example, thank you for your submission. We will contact you within the next, let's say, one to two days. And then you can also include a call to action in the, in the submission message. So visit our website for more information. And you can have a URL here. Now, the last step is select a call to action for your ad. So when the ad shows up in the results, what do you want your call to action to be? Learn more, sign up, download, get info, get the offer, get a quote, and you can add a little bit of a description here. And that's it. So from there, essentially, all you have to do is to save. But there are a couple more things that you may want to remember or you may want to go through. Let's say now that people complete the form where can I find the leads inside my Google Ads? 
the easiest thing to do is to connect your lead form with a Google Sheet document or with your CRM directly. So once you create the, the lead form, you're going to scroll down. Here, there's an option that says export leads from Google Ad. And here you can simply select either your CRM or Google Sheets. You can go through the integration steps and you can have the leads go straight to your HubSpot, your MailChimp, your Salesforce, your Google Sheets, or you can even look for, let's say, maybe other CRM software, or even let's say you can have an email coming straight to you once someone actually submits a, a lead form. So that's the easiest way actually to export leads from Google Ads straight to a CRM or straight to a document where your salespeople can pick it up quickly and get going and contact that customer. So that's all you need to know when it comes to adding a lead form. Final couple of things. The lead form is not going to show up all the time. Some people may have in their mind that they're going to create a lead form and it's going to be like meta ads, for example, or like TikTok ads, where the lead form is going to show up all the time. This is not the case here. The lead form will show up sometimes. It's at the algorithm's discretion to show the lead form. The algorithm would choose when to present the lead form to the user and when not to present it. So it will not show up all the time. So you are not going to see a massive number of leads coming through from Google Ads. However, it is still useful to have a lead form, especially if you are a co-working space, if you are into B2B, if you want people to contact you directly, if you want to set up appointments, it is advisable to use the lead form. Keep in mind, however, again, it will not show up all the time. It is at the algorithm's discretion when this lead form is going to show up. So hold the small basket when it comes to results. That's it. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the link you will find in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day in any time zone and best of luck with your Google Ads campaign.